All right, gentlemen, we've been through the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. Touch gloves. Let's do this. Let's do this is right. Tiago Mejeta Santos, a modest 240 betting favorite at close. Thank you, Brittany. Glover Teixeira, a live underdog, according to some, comes back at plus 200. Ready. Ready. Let's fight. The tension is palpable. Here we go. This fight clock is brought to you by Toyo Tires, the official tire of the UFC. Glover Teixeira is in yellow. Tiago Mejeta Santos is back and in black. <laughs> Jan Bohovic is the new light heavyweight champion, likely watching this one intently. <laughs> the capoeira green rope. Tiago Santos thought about a capoeira kick early. Coming out southpaw early too. Watch that left kick. He really likes that left kick from southpaw. <laughs> Pulling him into it. Oh! Hughes oh. limp, right hand by Santos Heavy early. Heavy shots. He's hurt bad. Oh, bad. Teixeira slips and from the early Santos power. And we've seen this so much. He gets rocked and then creates scrambles and takedowns and keeps going. Don't hit the back of the head. Mahete is on him. Oh, Teixeira's not having it. Straight to the double. You're absolutely right. Teixeira at times gets clipped early on in fights, but he's so hard to get out of there. I mean, you can watch film after film of that style of fight from Teixeira and then him choking somebody out following that kind of knockdown. So don't sleep on him yet. He's not out of this, and he's got a good position on Santos. So a furious start for Tiago Santos. Glover Teixeira has the body locked in. Now a takedown, oh, and right in the mouth. Down. Oh my goodness. That is not good for Santos. That's not where he wants to be. Flat on his back, forearm on the throat, nice elbows. He needs to dig that right underhook, get his legs involved in this if he's gonna get under, out from underneath Teixeira, get himself to the fence, but being flat on his back here is perfect for Teixeira's style. And styles make fights, and this stylistic clash, absolutely fascinating. It's so incredible how many times I've seen Teixeira get dropped like that and take somebody down. Like when you drop him and you try to finish him, that's when he's the most lethal. It's crazy. Carl Robertson, Iwan Kute Lava, several other guys who are on his wins list, and a beautiful transition there as he has Santos mounted. Watch the arm triangle, that's his favorite choke right there. When he takes the back, he goes mount, then he takes the back, or he goes arm triangle, and that's what he does so well. Good job by Santos getting the half guard. If you're Santos here, what are you trying to do to escape, or are you just trying to minimize damage? He's doing the right stuff, but he needs to get to his hip. You see how both his shoulder blades are flat on the floor? He needs to get to his left hip, use his right butterfly to try to get to share. He's got to get some space. You see how Teixeira's hips are stuck to his? He's got to get some space. Santos got to get his legs involved here. There we go. That's what he's got to do is get those knees and create some space. But look at how Teixeira is keeping that pressure on his, on his chin with his right shoulder, and then just ground and pounding. It's just good top black belt pressure right now by Teixeira. Good way to go. Less than two minutes to go on the round. Plenty of time for Teixeira to work his patented ground strikes. And this is the one thing that coming back from reconstruction, it's hard to get the grappling rounds early in your rehab because you just gotta get the knees stronger before they even let you start wrestling. So he probably didn't get to start wrestling until the six month mark. And he's only been out a, he's only been out a year, so he might have had a few months of wrestling, but right here you're seeing this is this is jiu-jitsu position, and he's gonna wanna get to his feet to stake a claim. Santos able to evade that offering from Teixeira, but as yet seems content to sort of strike off of his back. You haven't seen him elevate to try to get on a hip yet. And his guard is closed here. Yeah, something that would help Santos too is putting the feet on the hips. Take a left underhook, get to a right hip, use the fence to wall walk up. Right now, he's keeping the guard closed. And he's okay with just not letting Teixeira pass, get mount, take the back. He's rather just squeeze him here and take a little damage to give up the position to Teixeira. Teixeira. 
to share it, continues to work and apply pressure here. Santos controlling posture. It looks like he is willing to let the round expire like this. So who do they give the round to, Anik? I mean, he, he rocked Glover I'm very hard. I'm not paid to judge tonight, yeah. my man. <laughs> That's a tough round. To share for me, though. Round two next. Huh. Breathe with me. Let's breathe real deep. Here we go. Breathe real deep. Look at me. Look at me. That's right down. Let's calm down. That's what I need you most. Keep calm. Okay, calm. Breathe in. Let's get the breathing back. Okay. Okay. You've got your distance. You found your distance. You've seen what's happening. I don't want to see that situation. Anymore. Left hand lands right there by Santos. Then a right hook. I mean, just huge shots. And he just starts unloading. But by normal Glover standards, he goes ahead and gets the takedown. Look at these shots he eats and then gets to this position. How do you get to such a dominant position after eating that many big shots? Only Glover. Always Let's nice fight. to see John Jones chiming in, and he is right. We have ourselves a fight. Round two here, Teixeira in yellow. Tiago Santos is in black. <laughs> Santos going southpaw a lot here early tonight, Dom. That's the kick he likes. He loves the teep kick and the left high kick. Oh, nice right hand by Glover. You can see the wrestling really working super well for Glover. He's got the timing for the takedown, and I think he's going to keep grappling the rest of this fight. And he doesn't rest when he gets you down. He is in perpetual motion, and a couple of those hammer fists got right through. If you're Santos, are you closing the guard? You're trying to hip escape? What are you doing? Well, he's been doing nothing but Brazilian jiu-jitsu to get his black belt in a gi, from what I've heard in, in, right. the, in, the, you know, in the fighter meeting. So if that's what you're doing, that's what we're seeing. Uh, when you watched him versus Jones, he was using all his technique to get to his feet. I don't think Jones could hold him down. So you're seeing the difference in what the training methods get to be after injury. It, it does change your style sometimes. I mean, that's just my experience of watching, but Glover's also very, very good on top. Don't forget that. I mean, he does the he's best. done this to so many people. As good as anyone. Yes. One of the best in the division on the top position, especially staying busy and keeping this pressure. See, now nice Santos elbow. is on a hip, but you see how Glover sits back when he gets to his hip in order to dominate that position, too. So Santos is trying to make the positions better, but to share is a step ahead. Santos did a nice job preventing the side mount there. But Teixeira can do this all day if you've seen his career. Just over three minutes now to go in our light heavyweight main event and north of a round of ground control time already for the plus 200 underdog Glover Teixeira. What I notice on the ground is you know, some of the best jiu-jitsu practitioners in the world, the best ones, use their arms and their legs at the same time on bottom. I'm oh. seeing Santos pretty much just use his arms. You see his feet are flat on the mat, and he's not creating space to get Teixeira off of him with his knees or his feet on the hips. It's just his upper body being used. And that's what's keeping Santos on his back. Whereas Teixeira is using his legs, his upper body, and his positioning, you see? He's got the mount position. Santos goes back to half guard. It's just control, position over submission for Teixeira. Santos has been able to get out from underneath the mount several times, but Teixeira, everything he's throwing here is hard. Yeah, it's, it's just ground and pound. I mean, this is the safe bet if you're Teixeira to winning this fight. Just keep, keep the damage, keep accumulating damage, keep Santos on his back. Then when Santos does get to his feet, he's not quite as lethal because he's a little bit wore out and softened up. So Glover Teixeira has now landed north of 100 total strikes and 102 of them already on the ground. Incredible output from the 41-year-old. Yeah, you know, he's been on a five-fight win streak, so you're seeing the sharpness in, the, in this matchup for Glover.
He just looks a little sharper. Teixeira was 5-0 in the UFC when he fought John Jones for the title April of 2014. Has accrued nine more UFC wins since that title shot, and a fifth consecutive win tonight would certainly put him in prime position. See how the feet are flat on the floor, the hips aren't swiveling, the hips aren't, he's not grabbing half guard. So the, the top half is the only part being used by Santos here. And so it's kind of easy for Glover to just stop the head in the, in, in the top half. If Santos starts getting his legs involved and creating space, now he's got more limbs to deal with. Oh, nice elbow from Teixeira. That one appeared to get Santos's attention. Yeah, it's just a crappy position Santos is in because he's not really winning. He's just trying to stop bad damage from taking place right now. And he's doing a good job of that. Like, he's not taking the worst of the damage, but he's also just stuck flat on his back by not taking damage. So, you know, it's a lesser of two evils here for Santos. 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Great hips by Teixeira. Look at how his hips are swiveling, the way he's passing guard. He's looking to attack this key lock, and then he fakes it and steps over the top of the mount again. Now he's going to look to choke. That looks sunk in, ladies and gentlemen. Waning yep. seconds of round two. Can Tiago Santos survive? That's all she wrote. He survived. Oh, wow. Saved by the bell. Could very well be a 10-8 round for Glover Teixeira. Go read the scoring if you don't agree. Let's go, let's breathe. Okay, look at me. Pay attention, pay attention to what I'm gonna tell you. Let's breathe. You need to look at my eyes. I don't want you taken down anymore. I don't know how you're going to do it, but I don't want you taken down anymore. So we're seeing here Glover, just perfect right hand, which hid his double leg takedown, and it was just a great timing. And then from here, it was just ground and pound, Glover's specialty. Control the hips, follow, follow. End of the round is just pure punches, and then he finally is able to get this sunken in, and then right at the end when he's finally got it, you can see it in, the bell rings. Saved by the bell. Let's fight. Well, Tiago Santos would appear to be in great shape. I hate to read too much into that, but Conan Silvera wants him keeping Teixeira off of his legs at all costs, but Glover gets right in. Oh, oh finally got Santos it. Santos with a huge left hand. Oh my God! The so tide tells, has turned. That tells you how powerful Santos is. Look at this. Jeez, only one shot he needs. So now it's Teixeira trying to control posture. A big moment early round three for Mahenta Santos. He had to stop one takedown like his coach has asked, and right. now he's on top, and he could win this if he stays here. It's a back and forth fight. And Conan's a master strategist, but he said, I don't care how you do it. <laughs> Stuff the takedown, Santos did, and now Glover in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, big strikes by Santos, doing the right job, controlling that half guard and just looking for the finish with elbows. <laughs> what a matchup, what a matchup, what a fight. And they still got two rounds left. <laughs> Santos throwing with some serious heat here. These two did not disappoint. Big elbows. And the way Santos throws those elbows just looks so heavy. Oh, a couple elbows and now some big left hands for Tiago Santos. Powerful. And Teixeira can eat such a shot and just keep scrambling and scrambling. And doing this, this is what he does right here. He's got the both hooks in. <laughs> back and forth, back and forth these two. And now Santos would appear to be fatigued. And Teixeira might be under the chin here. There it is! Glover Teixeira, five in a row! He's the number one contender! Boa noite! What a fight between those two Brazilians. And what else can you say about Glover Teixeira? Tested tonight.
in round one, round three, five consecutive wins at 41 years of age. Yeah, you gotta respect both these gentlemen. I mean, for Santos to do what he just attempted to come back from those knee surgeries and face somebody on a win streak and a terror like Glover Teixeira, and the way that Teixeira's shown up. I mean, he's legitimately rebuilt himself the way he's shown up in these fights taking people down and holding them there. And Teixeira is the ultimate sportsman if you've ever met the guy. And I don't speak Portuguese, but you can be sure. He said to Thiago Santos, you will be back. Fakes the right hand, is able to get the double leg, but right here, Santos stops it and then lands this huge left hook and sits Teixeira down. And you know, from there, Santos did the right thing. He was looking for elbows, same thing as Glover, but Glover did something different. He was able to transition to the double leg off of, from his back, take the back, Throw in the hooks, right here he throws the hooks in, and then from there he controls the choke, bellies out Santos after he mounts him, punches him, softens him up a little, gets him to belly out, and then he just sinks that choke in really deep right here once Santos gives his back up. Can't eat those shots. And there was so much energy expenditure from Tiago Santos there early in round three that when Glover did get that dominant position, he couldn't do anything to stay in the fight, and you see the celebration, Hackleman and Fernelli Feliz, and everybody else, Clover Teixeira, getting it done again. We will talk to the man, the myth, the legend, after this, as Fight Night continues live. Next Saturday, former champ Rafael Dos Anjos returns to 155 pounds. He'll take on one of the division's best, 18 and one. Gabi protege Islam Makhachev. That's your main event. The card wall to wall on ESPN Plus. Main card 7 p.m. Eastern. Prelims prior at four next Saturday night. All right, one final time tonight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute. 49 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by submission due to a rear naked choke, Glover Teixeira! Glover Teixeira entered this fight with the number three next to his name. He will likely have the number one next to his name next week. And dude, this guy makes me embarrassed to be 42 when he's getting this done at 41. Hey, but I'm embarrassed. Man, come on, dude. You got a nice <laughs> face, all right? This guy fights for a living. Leave him alone. Let him have a shine. This guy is nasty.